So today is the last Friday in the month of August, which signifies, in some ways, the end of the summer vacation. Next week, Monday, the kids will be back out to school. Many kids will be returning students. And some kids will be starting afresh. Some kids will be starting new schools, a new challenge, a new environment, a new surrounding, new friends, new teachers. A fresh start. A fresh start is like a black is like a blank canvas. Of course, it is an opportunity to create something new. It is an opportunity to redefine yourself, to set new goals, and to embark on a journey towards a brighter future. Just as the sun rises each day, offering a new beginning. So too, can you embrace the concept of a fresh start in your life? Of course, the new school term is specifically geared towards the kids and the children. At the start of this new term, there are so many lessons that we can also take in our lives. So, at the beginning of the new school term, of course, the, sc the kids go back to school. But we also continue the grind of our lives. Just like the kids who go back to school, they will be faced with new challenges. They will have to enter a new phase. We also will be faced with new challenges on a day-to-day -day basis. And we also will be entering new phases of our lives from time to time. Regardless of the walk of life you belong to, you will go through new phases. How you approach those new phases is of utmost, utmost importance. The first thing you must remember when you are entering a new phase is that it is indeed a fresh start to prove yourself. It is a fresh start to redeem yourself. Which basically means that whatever happened in the past, that is in the past where it should be. Do not allow it to affect what is happening right now in the present. And by all means, don't allow it to affect what is going to happen in the future. The past is the past. Allow it to stay there. Whether you are starting a new school, whether you are starting a new job, or whether you are entering any new phase of your life, remember that the past is in the past and do not allow it to come forward to affect you now or in the future. And at the beginning of every new phase, it is important that you must remember your purpose. Refresh in your mind the purpose of life or the purpose of the phase that you are getting into whether it is school job related recreational family related refresh the purpose in your mind and from the inception from the get-go it is important that you get your mind in the game and correct your intention if I'm going to school, my intention is to gain an education. My intention is not to get mingled up with the wrong company. I've got no other intention but to get an education. And that is just one example. If you're starting a new job, what is your intention? If you're starting a new phase on your spiritual journey, what is your intention moving forward? Very, very important. From the get-go, you must get your mind in the game. And if you didn't do too well in the past, if you were not able to get it right in the past, well, now is your time to get it right. Now is your time because now you are in much more of a better position. You are much more equipped due to your prior experiences, due to the knowledge that you now have. You are now in a better position to maneuver yourself into a winning position. 
But if all didn't go well before, that impetus you can use to propel yourself forward. In the past, if you did well, if you're a student and you did well in the previous term, or as an individual, if you did well in the previous phase of your life, my message to you is never ever become too overconfident in your abilities to the point that you become complacent. And we see many students fall into this particular category. Many individuals, as a matter of fact, they did well in the previous phase or the previous couple of phases. And now moving forward, they become complacent because they think that I've got the intelligence, I've got the ability. Those things will take me through. And that then leads to complacency, which then leads to the downfall of the individual. I'm pretty sure that you are well aware of the story of the tortoise and the hare. The hare became overconfident. Even though he was faster, even though he had stronger legs, even though he had the ability to cross the finish line first, he became overconfident, which then led to complacency, which then led to his downfall to any aspect of your life. Once you are starting a new phase, if you, did, if you didn't do too well before in the previous phases, tell yourself that now is my chance to shine because I'm in a better position due to my experience. If you did well in the previous phases, do not become complacent. Protect yourself from becoming overconfident. Also, very importantly, once you are now entering a new phase, stay clear. Stay clear of negative people. Stay away from bad company. I always remember a saying of, you know, the adults, a saying of the elders of our communities. They say that friends will take you, but they will never bring you back. And I want you to reflect on that. Whatever walk of life you belong to, friends will take you, but they will never bring you back. So it's extremely important that you seek out those individuals who will contribute to your upliftment and stay very, very far, far away from those individuals who are there to drag you down. And sometimes they drag you down without you even knowing it. If you are not aware and if you are not careful. Extremely important as well is discipline. In every phase of your life, you have to be disciplined. Discipline is the key. You have to be able to conform to a schedule. You have to have a plan in front of you. And you have to be able to execute that plan to the T, like they say. And in order to execute that plan, you must have dedication. The price of success is hard work. Hard work and dedication to the job at hand in whatever, whatever walk of life you belong to. The, the, the determination to get it done. Whatever comes your way, that is the impetus that will push you forward. Once you have applied the best of yourself, the task at hand will become easy. You will feel at some point in your life that is accepted. So you have to accept that. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. You may embarrass yourself. You may not necessarily be good at something. But instead of fearing failure, see it as a natural part of life and as a stepping stone to, to success. And as you go through life, you will find that nothing in life is worthwhile unless you take risks. So when you fall, instead of falling back, fall forward. Every failed experiment is one step closer to success. And that knowledge and that experience, you will be pushed into a realm of success. It is also important not just to have a dream, but to chase after those dreams relentlessly. Find your true passion and pursue it with unwavering dedication. Don't just aspire to make a living. Aspire to make a difference. And at this point, this is where persistence and resilience will come in. Persistent, persistence and resilience are everything in life. You will never see a vault behind a hearse. You will never see a vault behind a hearse. I don't care how much money you make, you can't take your money with you. The most important thing in life is to live your life with integrity and not to give in to peer pressure 
And don't try to impress another person. Or don't try to be something or someone that you are not. Be yourself. Persevere. Become dedicated. Become disciplined. Correct your intention moving forward. Get your mind in the game from the word go. And if you can do those things, I can assure you that the next phase of your life, whatever that phase may be, in whatever form or fashion that phase may come to you, the next phase of your life will be a very fulfilling one and above all, a very, very successful one indeed.